Senator David Gowan here. Welcome to the floor of the Senate and another edition of Gavel In with Gowan. We want to spotlight the big achievements we've accomplished for K-12 schools. Hundreds of thousands of Arizona students are heading back to school this month and families can rest assured that their kids will have the resources they need to succeed. This past legislative session, Arizona Senate Republicans voted to fund students, not systems, with the passage of our most expansive school choice program in the country. Families will be able to take advantage of empowerment scholarship accounts that will provide around $7,000 per K-12 child, allowing them to attend any school of their choice. From ESAs to providing ample grant funding each year for school capital needs, Senate Republicans have supported $3 billion in ongoing annual state funding increases to K-12 education from FY 2014 to FY 2022. The FY 2023 budget adds significant new ongoing funding for K-12 schools, totaling $649 million and increasing to $908 million by FY 2025. This money can be used to pay for quality teachers and principals, building repairs, classroom technology, resource officers, and much, much more. This past session, Arizona Senate Republicans also voted in support of and passed two bills that were signed into law which rein in the mask and vaccine mandates that proliferated across our schools throughout the pandemic. Together, HB 2616, which is the mask mandates minors parental consent, and HB 2371, which is enforcement prohibition vaccinations requirements, prohibit the state, school districts, or any government entity from requiring anyone under the age of 18 to wear a mask or receive a COVID-19 vaccination without parental or guardian consent. Parents should always have the final say, especially when it comes to the health and welfare of their children. Over the past decade, Arizona has routinely been in the national spotlight as one of the fastest growing states in the country. This is thanks in part to our strong economy, healthy job market, limited government regulations, business-friendly environment, low taxes, quality of life, the weather, as well as our amazing recreational opportunities. Unfortunately, over the past two years, we've watched as our housing supply has not kept up with demand and Senate Republicans want to figure out how to solve this problem. This week, the Arizona State Legislature hosted our third housing supply study committee. During these meetings, we hear from industry experts, community leaders, developers, nonprofits, and residents from around the state on issues like homelessness, planning and zoning challenges, multi and single family housing needs, rapid increases in home prices, and construction demands. Our next meeting will be on Tuesday, August 23rd at 1 p.m. in House of Representatives hearing room number one. Last but not least, every year, state lawmakers from across the country attend the American Legislative Exchange Council annual meeting. At the end of July, I join Arizona Senate Republicans in Atlanta to hear policies and ideas that our state can benefit from, as well as share what's working in Arizona that other states can adopt and implement. A topic of discussion was the rise of federalism in the face of the federal government's overreach that we've witnessed from the Biden administration. Since taking office, Biden has issued a large number of executive orders, many of which have had negative consequences for almost every economic sector. Too many decisions have been taken out of the hands of our citizens and left up to Washington, D.C. The solution to this abuse of power lies in reclaiming self-governance in our states and in our communities. By doing so, we can better meet the needs of the people we serve. A one-size-fits-all government approach isn't what our founding fathers had in mind. Thanks for joining me in this edition of Gavel In with Gowan, and until next week, I'm Gavelin' Out.